okay let's look at question number 17 part a trigonometric question so write down sine a plus b in terms of this so then that's easy you know sine a plus b is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b deduce that sine 2 theta is this so just use this a and b both take as theta so sine theta plus theta is what sine theta cos theta plus cos theta sine theta so then sine 2 theta is what 2 sine theta cos theta right so that part is done then theta is acute 0 to pi over 2 express the equation cot theta so all of these are non-zero now right yes all of them are non-zero yes minus 2 tan theta sine 2 theta right so we have to convert this into this form so everything has to be in cos theta powers of cos theta right so convert everything to cos and sine so everything just convert right then right we will multiply every everything in this equation by sine theta cos theta and sine theta and cos theta are both non-zero in this interval so we'll get what cos theta sine theta times sine theta cos theta plus no not plus minus minus 2 sine theta cos theta over times sine theta cos theta 2 sine theta cos theta times sine theta cos theta right simplify cancel 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 there you get cos square theta minus 2 sine square theta 2 sine square theta cos square theta so everything now turn to cos so replace sine square theta with 1 minus cos square theta right. then expand the brackets and simplify cos square theta minus 2 plus 2 cos square theta 2 cos square theta minus 2 cos to the 4 theta so then this cos 2 cos square theta will cancel with this 2 cos square theta move everything to one side 2 cos to the 4 theta plus cos square theta minus 2 is equal to 0 right so a b c are what a is 2 b is 1 and c is minus 2 right so that part is done and show that theta is equal to cos inverse of this right so this we have to use this so this is in quadratic form no? let's convert this into a quadratic so you can take m equals cos square theta so then this turns into a 2m squared we are taking m as cos square theta so then m squared is cos to the fourth power so this turns into 2m squared plus m minus 2 equals c zero, 0 right so from the answer it is clear this is not going to be factorable so just use the quadratic formula m is equal to what minus 1 plus or minus 1 squared minus 4 a is 2 times c is minus 2 over 2 into 2 so we get what m equals minus 1 
plus or minus 60 plus so 1 plus 16 so square root 17 square root 17 over 4 right so then just replace m now cos square theta cos square theta is positive so we can drop the negative answer from this one so the only answer for cos square theta would be minus 1 plus square root 17 over 4 then find cos theta so that is going to be square root 17 minus 1 over 2 uh, we want to put everything under one square root so we put it like this so cos theta is you get plus or minus but theta is in where 0 to pi over 2 so in the first quadrant everything is positive no? so cos theta has to be positive so we have to stick to the positive square root so cos theta is positive in this interval the first quadrant so that's why we pick the positive answer right then inverse you get the answer theta equals cos inverse this one that is what we needed to show right so right part a is done then we'll do part b